Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I have got an empties video for you. Um, before I get started, I just want to mention my lighting. I have invested in some lighting so that I can film all hours of the day for you guys, which hopefully means that there'll be more videos. But this is the first time that I'm filming with my new lighting, so I suspect that it may be a little bit off in this video. Please bear with me. As I said, I thought I'd start with an empties video, so I'm not doing swatches or anything, so we can just get to grips with the lighting that way and hopefully it won't be too horrendous. I fear that I may be quite washed out but we'll give it a go and play around and just bear with me for the time being until I get things sorted. But I am excited to have new lighting and uh, looking forward to getting to grips with it and, and being able to film whenever I want and upload a little bit more regularly hopefully so um, yay for new lighting. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get on with my empties. Now, going forwards, my empties are going to be mixed up of different categories. So today I've got some body care, I have got a hair care product, some makeup. So I'm just going to jump in and get started with the Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser, which I finished up. And I really like this. I've mentioned before that it's a favourite. I like it because it does what it says on the tin. You spray it on, it's easily absorbed, it moisturises not it's not a rich moisturizer um, but it does the job locks in moisture and you're good to go you can get dressed really quickly great for when you're in a hurry as I am also great in the mornings when you don't want to spend ages in the cold um, rubbing in lotion I find this really good it's not the most effective moisturizer you know I find that I use this in the mornings and then I complement it by using a richer body butter for example at night time and that way my skin is still sort of nourished um, I've used the Cocoa Radiant one which has a sort of subtle cocoa butter fragrance but it doesn't interfere with my fragrance and actually considering this is 190ml and an aerosol I always think of aerosols as being a product that you use up quite, quick, quite quickly but despite the fact that this is only 190ml I felt that it lasted quite a long time um, and it does have this sort of continuous spray 360 so you can spray it onto your back you know it really does work very effectively and it's affordable too so a good option there Okay, I'm not doing these in any particular order, so the next product that I'm seeing is the Champneys Spa Treatment Citrus Blush Shower Gel. And I like to use sort of citrus scented products in the mornings. I'm not a morning person, so I find that they're quite uplifting and help to sort of get me moving. However, this was um, described as having an uplifting lemon, orange and cardamom scent. But I really felt that rather than it being a refreshing citrus, it had that warmth coming through from the cardamom, so I didn't really find it to be particularly uplifting or energising. It was fine, but I just didn't really like it. Um, I didn't love the fragrance. I wouldn't repurchase it. I found it to be quite drying on the skin because it does contain sodium lauryl sulfate. And yeah, I just didn't love it. I didn't find it to be particularly indulgent or anything. I know that Champneys is the sort of product range that's sold in boots to accompany the range of spas that we have here in the UK by, by this company. But, you know, it was fine, but it wasn't any better than any other shower gel that I've tried. It did the job nothing special so wouldn't repurchase another spa range and this one looks quite grotty um, that is based on a physical you know spa building or at least it was is the sanctuary spa which was a day spa in Covent Garden it's since closed down but they still sell the range of products in boots they have their main line which I could take or leave to be honest but I really like the relatively recently repackaged sort of aromatherapy line and this was the sleep smoothing skin polish. I don't believe that they do a um, shower wash in this. I think they only have um, a sleep bath um, soak. But if they did have a, a but if they did have a shower gel then I would definitely repurchase it in that scent because I really liked the fragrance. This has Ylang Ylang known to reduce tension and relieve stress, frankincense known to clarify and calm and patchouli known to help reduce anxiety before sleep. This wasn't the most sort of effective body polish um, it was quite creamy and I felt that it worked best if you applied it onto dry skin before jumping into the shower but it wasn't it didn't have that sort of satisfyingly abrasive scrub that I tend to go for but I really liked the fragrance and for me that was what made this sort of a really great product so that's why I would like to see it in a different format such as a shower wash um, but I really really liked it I've done a full review on my blog so I'll link that below but to me the sort of it wasn't so much the formula that I liked, but definitely the scent, loved the scent of this, and I would definitely recommend checking out this range. So this is the Sleep one in the purple packaging, and I've also previously talked about the Relax range, which I also really like as well. So great little um, affordable aromatherapy range for you there. 
I went through another of my La Bioesthetic Anti-Age Shampooing F-Cell, which is for fine hair. Um, I always use this shampoo and I find that it works effectively without um, irritating my sensitive scalp, so that's why I really like the La Bioesthetic shampoos. I've talked about this time and time again, so I'm not going to dwell on it, but needless to say, I've already repurchased it. And then I used up a hand cream, which is unusual for me because I'm notoriously bad at moisturising my hands. I don't like them to feel greasy. Um, but I quite liked the La Vera Orange Feeling Hand Cream. Um, it was nourishing without sort of leaving a very greasy residue, and I liked the orange scent. Again, I've done a full review on, of this on my blog. Um, I've got loads of hand creams to try and use up because I'm often sent them, and as I said, I'm not good at using them up. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase this purely based on the fact that I have others in my collection, but I did like it. It's unusual for me to use the whole one. Um, I think that because it was a nice handbag size, it wasn't too intimidating, and so I was kind of like, oh, if I just keep this on my desk, I'll actually use it, and, you know, I really enjoyed it for that purpose, and as I said, I liked the scent. And obviously, La Vera is a nice natural brand as well, if you're interested in that. I think also quite affordable. Okay, I'm going to talk about a few favourites that I've repurchased time and time again. First of all is Sechvite, which is my favourite top coat. I do find that this gets gloopy very quickly, so I definitely recommend buying the Sesh Restore, which is the nail polish thinner if you're going to buy this. Um, but I've gone through bottles and bottles of this. I really like it. It's my favourite top coat. It really does give that sort of high shine finish, a sort of gel effect, and it does dry quickly, as the name suggests. It is full of chemicals. If you you know you only need to smell this to know that it's very strongly scented um, in a chemical way. But a product that I really like and I feel that it delivers on the claims. And then another product that I've already repurchased is the Maybelline the Full Seas Flared um, Volume Express Mascara. I find Maybelline mascaras to be a little bit hit and miss, but this is one of my favourite mascaras of all the ones that I've tried. It is the flared one, so it has a scooped wand, and it's a natural bristle sort of traditional style wand. I like this because I find that it holds a curl really, really well. I've also been asked previously if I am wearing falsies when I've been using this. And yeah, I mean, I am blessed with some naturally sort of quite full long lashes, but I find that this adds volume very effectively and definition. And it just gives that really nice, I always describe my favorite lash look as this, but that sort of feminine fluttery lashes that aren't sort of crispy. Um, I find that it wears well throughout the day. It doesn't sort of clump or flake. I find that it wears well throughout the day. It doesn't smudge. And I just really like it. And it's a good, affordable mascara. Um, weirdly, I haven't tried the non-flared Falsies version, but it's one that I'm going to try out. Um, I always go for the black. But yeah, I would highly recommend this. Just to give you a sort of point of reference, I didn't like the Rocket, so I do like this one. Also, I think another thing to point out is that because it has got this flared wand, and as I said, I haven't tried the unflared version, I apply my mascara like this, and then I flip my wrist over and go like this. However, if you apply your, your mascara like this and then go across your nose, which I am completely in awe of people being able to do without getting mascara all over their nose, um, but if you then go like this, then you may not get the full effect of that sort of curved bristle wand so just something to bear in mind um, in terms of how you apply your mascara as to whether this might work for you or not. I used up a candle which I always like to do because I just find it quite satisfying even though it requires absolutely zero effort but it was the Neil's Yard Remedies um, uplifting sorry energizing candle I think it's subsequently changed its name this has a really gorgeous sort of uplifting energizing citrus fragrance that I really enjoyed I particularly liked this sort of in the summer months I mean this lasted me ages it's got a nice sort of etched pattern on the glass jar and it was clean burning because it's a natural wax um, I really liked it I thought that the fragrance was fairly sort of room filling as well I've got quite a large lounge and okay I couldn't necessarily smell it when it wasn't burning but once it was burning it worked effectively to room to fill the fr it worked effectively to fill the room with fragrance so I really liked that and um, yeah, I would possibly repurchase, yeah, I would probably consider repurchasing this. I think I've even mentioned this in a favourites video before. So I will be cleaning out that glass jar and repurposing it. I used up one of my all-time favourite foundations. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. Love this, holy grail. Come back to it time and time again. I keep countless backups of it because I can't bear to be without it. I love this. I've done a full review, um, which I will link below, um, a sort of foundation routine video using this so you can see me applying it and sort of reviewing it in, de 
in detail but love this it really does live up to that sort of flawless finish name it looks very natural on the skin and it doesn't flash back in photography either because it's got no SPF in it but that doesn't bother me because if I was going to be using SPF in my skincare um, it would be in my skincare not my foundation so um, really really like this and it's also functional with a pump dispenser I do tend to go through it quite quickly because I use it pretty much on a daily basis so don't be surprised if you see this in other empties videos as well and then last but not least because I always do my empties in sets of 10 products I used up a and other stories hand soap and this is in the scent fig fiction I really really like the and other stories hand soaps they're affordable I think this was just four pounds lasted a long time um, functional I think it looks pretty cool in the bathroom and I really like the scent of fig in any concept as well so to have it in a hand soap was really nice um, I tend to go through hand soaps a lot quicker than hand lotions I mentioned earlier in the video that I sort of do struggle to moisturize my hands because I don't like that sort of greasy feeling so I didn't actually pick up the duo normally I like to have duos particularly in the guest bathroom but I just had this in my own bathroom used it up sort of fairly quickly I guess but well no it lasted a fair amount of time it's 250 mil for four pounds I think is pretty affordable and I really enjoyed using it so I have already repurchased this and there's quite a few of the different fra fragrances that I like but the fig one is definitely my favorite anyway I hope that you enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to leave me a comment if you've tried any of these products or if there's any that you would like to try um, and you're intrigued by just let me know I always like interacting with you guys so don't forget to comment Anyway, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.